This is Tekker 911 Episode 2, Legal Music Downloading. about legal music downloading. Illegal music downloading is often called piracy or copyright infringement and it's a bad thing to do for several reasons. First of all, you could get thrown in jail if you copyright infringe. Second of all, it hurts the artists who help put out their work and get paid when you buy a CD or download their song from legal music sites which we're about to show you. Some examples of copyright infringement is if you have a CD and you burn a copy for a friend and give it to them. That would be considered copyright infringement. Also, if you download music off Kazaa or LimeWire, that will also be considered copyright infringement. Some places where you can get legal music is, I, is iTunes, the iTunes Music Store. The iTunes Music Store, the music you buy through it has DRM, and you also have to pay for it. We're going to explain what DRM means later. But note that you can only use the Apple iTunes Music Store if you have an iPod. But if you don't have an iPod, if you're like me and you have a Creative Zen Vision M, then you have to use a different music store. Microsoft has put together a Plays for Sure site. Almost every player sold in the last year or two, besides the yeah, iPod, the has really the cool Plays show. for Sure standard, the iPod and Zune. Here are some music stores which will work with Plays for Sure devices, like this one. One of these stores is Real Rhapsody, or also the Walmart music downloading site. These, site, these stores also have DRM. So another option that they have is subscription music. For $15 a month, you can fill your player with as much music as you want from their catalogs. These stores have major music labels. Also, some other sites that you might want to try is eMusic. eMusic offers music without DRM, meaning you can play it on any portable media player, including the iPod and this Zen Vision M. Many music downloads for cheaper than a dollar. Now what's the catch? They don't offer any of the big labels like the Apple iTunes Music Store offers. But they do offer music without DRM. What is DRM? DRM stands for Digital Rights Management and music companies use it to protect their music against piracy. This technology restricts the number of devices and computers people are able to play their music on after they purchase it. If you're able to burn the music which you've purchased, you can easily remove the DRM by burning the music you have to a CD. For example, on iTunes, just burn it to a CD. Then, when you go to import it, the DRM will be gone and you can play it on any portable device. One thing to make sure of if you're using iTunes, or even if you're using Windows Media Player, is in preferences to let use the MP3 encoder. This makes sure that even if you do not use an iPod, for example, if you decide to buy a new Zune, that you'll be able to play your music on any device. You can also set the quality level here. 80 is a really low quality, and the higher the number, the better the quality. You can go on our website, nylon1.tender.net, to watch our um, episode. You can also download versions of that, this episode to put on your iPod at the same site. Thank you for watching this episode of Tekra 911. Adios.